can't touch this. Mm. Hammer time. Let's go. My music hot. So hot. Let this say, oh my God, let's go. I didn't get the win tonight. Uh, tough fight. And so, yeah, so. Yeah. But it's okay. <laughs> yeah. For sure. I feel like I'm just like emotionally no, no, it's okay, dumping. It's okay. yeah, it's <laughs> a lot of people are like. I guess went out of their comfort zones and hung around until the very end to say hey to me after the fight, which is really nice. Because it's not easy for them to say anything after as well. I didn't get the win tonight, uh, tough fight. I um, started slow in the first round and then kept it slow in the second and third round and I was kind of um, definitely battling in my head a little bit. Um, but yeah, fourth and fifth round, I really went for it and gave it a lot more effort, I guess. Yeah, um, and so finished strong. But I wish that I did that in the beginning. She was strong and she landed a few good, like really good, clean, like tips to the head. And, and I think I just got a bit, a bit shocked and flustered. And then because it hurt, I was like battling in my head about whether I wanted to be there or not. <laughs> it is in her. She does have it in her to like to push and keep fighting, even when things are like the momentum is clearly not in her favour. It's like, to come back and I believe win the last two rounds after it being, getting, like it just slipping further and further from her grasp, you don't often see that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite proud of that. I'm, I'm just, I'm just happy that she has that, that to, uh, to finish it, you know, to, to finish the fight that she, she finished on that note. It would be way, I would, you know, I believe she would be more upset if she won the first three and got smashed the last two. Yep. So, and even if that meant winning, if she won the fight, won the first three, got smashed the last two, this is a better outcome. Losing, but really coming home strong after getting getting a bit of a hiding in rounds and two and two. So, I'm happy, with, I'm happy with that at least. I guess, like, saying that I'm grateful to everyone who came and everyone who helped during the fight camp as well. Yeah, I'm really thankful that there were so many people there. And so many people willing to help, like with the salt bikes and stuff. It's really good. We have a good team. I uh, just found out the other day that uh, XFC has been postponed or cancelled or something like that. We don't really know what's, uh, what's going on yet. Obviously still staying in camp, it could be in a few weeks, could not be until the next event, which I think is in like August or something like that. It's just a bit uh, bit frustrating, like the week before the fight, we'd done like a eight week camp pretty much, me and Darcy, we were getting close to starting our weight cuts, um, been dieting for a while and getting ready to go. We found out that the show's not on anymore for whatever reason, we don't really know. Um, but yeah, it's pretty pretty unfortunate. The uh, junior MMA, four young fellas competing over two days, Saturday and Sunday for that. Um, so we'll be going up as a team and grab a little hotel room overnight and give them the give them the full experience of the team being away and boys together, you know, have some fun. And then yeah, a few families and a few of the other boys coming up to support them. So we don't want to build too much pressure. So I'll get some footage. Yeah, it should be good. There's, I think there's 146 competitors. So the boys have got some some good challenges in front of them. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a really, really good weekend, a lot of fun. Hopefully the weather's nice, the sunny coast, and um, yeah, we'll get into it. Um, so we're kind of in like a bit of a taper phase now because we're coming so close to the fight. So it wasn't too crazy just like going over the overall strategy, game plan for the fight. Um, a bit of wrestling, a bit of rolls, a bit of striking, pretty much just a bit of everything. Um, but I mean, sort of the weight cut phase now, so... Um, yeah, just staying sharp, staying focused and staying uninjured. So we've accomplished that and now we're ready to go. So you fly out today? Tomorrow. Fly out tomorrow to Connecticut, um, leaving about midday 
and then we've got pretty much a 24 hour travel day ahead of us yep. which is fun um but yeah we get into connecticut wednesday night u.s time so i pretty much wake up and it'll be a week out from the flight how are you feeling i feel great i feel prepared i feel ready i had a great camp no honestly no hiccups everything went smoothly um and yeah i'm just i'm really excited for the opportunity uh, i predict a knockout um any round but it, there will be a knockout by me yeah, 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 yeah,